Well, I did not sleep here last night. It was too late by the time I got home last night to finish my move in here. But, <laughs> since this is where my electricity is, this is where I'm making my coffee this morning. So, that's definitely a big step towards getting the move done. feeling having my power moved over to the new RV uh, I didn't get my video done last night though due to not having power in the camper where I was sleeping so after work in the office today on my day job I'll come back and this afternoon I'll have to work on finishing my move and put the carpet down hopefully today but I also have to get those windows lubed but I don't see it all happening today in one day because I have to get the window screens up last night yeah, yesterday I had baby cat over here and the window was open over the bed of course and there was a ladder outside that I wasn't actually thinking of. She decided to jump out the window, climb up the ladder, and jump onto the top of the RV. Well, that was fun trying to chase her down. She thought it was fun, too. Got a box from Amazon. Just arrived. Forgive me table. It's uh, got to be seated properly on the floor. I'm in the RV right now. Halfway in between a move. So I'm halfway here. Oh, here's the, uh, okay, there's the PEX clamps from RV Myers CMI. Uh, that was to go with the plumbing that I got. Well, thank you very much. I um, still have some plumbing to do. I'm going to return that overly priced one that I got from Lowe's. I have a box here from YouTube Audrey43822. This one came in yesterday, but I was in such a hurry working out on the uh, solar yesterday, I didn't even get a chance to look at this yet. Oh, we've got something for baby cat. <laughs> My the Stewart Pets. It's a fun cat toy. Oops, somebody likes cats. This is natural purrs. Soft treat. Salmon flavored. Baby's going to be happy. I should have her in here, but she just got outside. Here's some more cat naturals. Very nice. Well, here's a, a Lowe's gift card. $25 Lowe's gift card. That's very useful. Especially <laughs> since I have to finish this RV before Saturday. That's perfect timing. Ooh, I love chocolate. Ah, granola bars. Now my favorite breakfast on the run. Well, there's my second favorite breakfast on the run. Oatmeal. Instant oatmeal packs. Finally, I'll start eating again a little bit better. Oh, there's uh, 
chicken breast. That's great with some rice dishes I have. Tuna. Always good stuff. That's a good staple food. Sunflower seeds. I haven't told anybody this, but my mom always sends me these. They're nice. I love them without the uh, the shell. I'm too lazy to eat them when they're in the shell. Oh, nice. Whole bean coffee. That's a good start to, for the move in the new RV. And we've got here a variety of gourmet baby cat foods. Very nice. Baby's going to be happy and thankful. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Audrey. Um, very helpful. Thank you. And baby cat, when she comes inside later, she'll be thankful. Right now, let me see where she is here. Oh, there's a baby cat. How you doing, baby cat? Huh? Got a package for you today. She's in predator mode. Look at her. She's hunting. I have a very large package here. It's actually too large to fit up and show you very well. I'll have to just open it and show you as I go what I find inside here. Today is Thursday and I haven't even begun my work for the day to be honest. I, uh, well I worked, I worked my day job and I'm just getting in. It's five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just sorting things out here now. So this box is loaded. Oh, what's this? This is, it smells like chocolate. It says for cats and dogs. It looks like and smells like chocolate chips. I can't wait for baby cat to try that. She's uh, always wanting my chocolate, but I read that I can't give that to him. Water stop. Not just for roofing. Yeah, what else is it for? Roof leaks, seals and protects. All types of construction materials. All right. That's uh, something I need. Oh, baby cat's getting the mother load today. Some more snacks for the baby cat. She likes her morning snacks, so I'm getting my morning coffee. She's getting used to uh, actually expecting it now. Double A batteries, Duracell. Very good stuff. Ah, some more cable ties. Heavily, heavily used in the off-grid project. What's this? Berries tea. Interesting. Let's see, uh, when I've had my fill of coffee for the day and I have a craving for a drink, tea is always a good fallback option. We have here. Oh, nice. Very nice. Dandelion and burdock tea. Organic. There's another. Good stuff. Oh, there's my treats. Got some coffee. And there's a massive thing in this box, which I'll get to in a minute here. Uh huh. Dried peppermint tea. Wow. Oh, I wish you could smell that. Mmm. That smells good. Got two more large packages here. Oh, here's a uh, what's this here? Guinness. Couple cans of Guinness. And the biggest thing is. Need to clear off the table for this. This is 
huge. Oh, this is interesting. I'm going to have to move the camera to show you this. Wow. USB wireless weather forecaster with touch screen. Indoor outdoor temperature, wind speed and direction. Awesome. Now I have an idea of what uh kind of wind turbine usage I could get out here. Self emptying rain gauge, also good. I don't have anything like that. Indoor and outdoor humidity, finally <laughs> I'll know the real numbers. Barometer pressure with trends. Wow, this is amazing. Easy weather software included the link to PC via USB. This is incredible. I'll probably get this open this weekend. I'm still working like mad here. The uh, off-grid RV is still a bit of a construction zone. I can't wait to check this out. Thank you. Well, this is uh, very nice. Thank you very much. This package is from YouTuber Goliath Man. I will write that on the bottom here. Thank you, Goliath Man. Baby cat found a box. She wanted to come in and say hi. I've been taking her into the uh, new RV more and more to get her used to it. She's quite comfortable now. So tonight we're going to spend the night in here. Well, the floor won't be done, I don't think. I still have a lot of preparation to do for the carpet, but I'll sweep it as well as I can tonight. Keep the baby cat's feet clean. Get all these tools out of here. Figure out where to put the generator. Well, tonight I'm sleeping in here. So I've got a roll of um, packaging paper. I've still got some boards in here. But with the weather being like it is, it's just moving in and out every day. Making my bed. And I'll bring baby cat stuff in here and put them in the bathroom for her. Her food and her water and her litter. And we'll stay here tonight. Got the bed made. Baby cat's exploring every level of the camper. I'm going to bring over her food and litter next. What do you think, baby cat? She's not talking to me. Well, anyway, there's my, my bed. I got extra blankets because it gets cold out here at night. This will be my first night. Hey, baby. She likes it. She's giving her approval. We'll see how it is at night, though. Well, the move is almost official. Baby's got her food and water and her litter boxes in there filled up. She knows where it is already. I've got my bed made, set up. Paper on the floor. We're both walking with no outdoor shoes on. Of course, she never puts on outdoor shoes. I uh, still have some cleaning up in the living room area to do. Get the tools out. And I still have to bring my... I uh, figure a place for the generator. I don't want to leave it out. <laughs> and this is the only place I had. But I'll figure it out tonight. I still have to bring my computer in. Otherwise, there will be no video tonight. Um, yesterday's video only just finished uploading a little bit ago, I think. But that's over in the camper. And that was on the, uh, the batteries over there. And they don't have any more power going to them. Because the... Well, I guess I might as well show you the Harbor Freight solar panels that I was going to hook up. Won't reach. We've got sunlight up to here there's a harbor freight panels actually they're still they would still be producing power it's not fully sunny but the sun is just down below the trees the problem is even with a harbor freight extension cable which I have attached the wire falls short of reaching the batteries in the camper. 
So I don't know what I'm going to do about the camper power for my parents for the weekend. Because you can't go too much. Uh, you can't use too long a wire with such low voltage or you won't have any power at the other end. It's useless. So I don't know. Well, i got to figure something out. Now the move is official. I've got power. I've got a big monitor. So now it's official in my book. I uh, have the most important things in my RV. I've got baby cat. She's wandering around somewhere. All of her food and stuff. Got my bedding. And I got my computer. Well, the computer's still uh, processing yesterday's video. What is it, about 6, maybe 6.37 now, but anyway. I'll be bringing it in here and hook it up to this monitor pretty soon. So it's looking good. Looking like home. Well, my friend is just leaving. And we just finished watching a movie in the off-grid RV. It was uh, pretty cool to sit here in the RV and watch a movie my first night out here. And baby cat, she's sitting in bed waiting for me. <laughs> Yawning. I don't know if you can see her back there. But I couldn't show you while I was watching the movie because I get in trouble with YouTube. Copyright drunk. But anyway, it was nice. My first night here good way to start it out so good night everybody well it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm starting up water for my coffee it's cold it's just 50 a minute ago it was 49 and it's rising but it was 45 last night and um, it's a little bit on the cool side for my liking uh, Last night I wasn't prepared properly for the extreme cold. I uh, only had my normal summer blankets on and um, I was a little bit surprised by the cold night so I didn't sleep well so I'm only just getting up at 9 a.m. Birds are happy because I fed them first. But uh, I need to start watching the weather closer. Good thing I got that weather station, huh? I'm putting that together soon.